What's up everybody, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys a review of the Salehi Bembury collaboration with New Balance on the 574 Yurt in the shark skin or grey colorway. Today's video is brought to you by the good people from Soul Savvy. So Soul Savvy is a membership based community of like minded sneakerheads that truly have a passion for sneakers. And as a paying member of Soul Savvy, they give me the tools, the knowledge and the resources I need to be able to cop shoes. And in fact, I've been a member of Soul Savvy pretty much since they started back in the summer of 2018. And oftentimes you guys ask me, how are you able to cop shoes so easily? Well, Soul Savvy definitely helps in that department. So aside from being a very tight knit, close community, they offer other resources like add to cart links, exclusive information, a member store where shoes are sold only for retail. And recently they introduced Soul Savvy Assist, which is a Chrome plugin that helps you with your checkout process, basically auto filling your credit card information and your address. And it takes you all the way to the final step where all you gotta do is click buy now. So for someone like myself that has so much going on in their daily lives, Soul Savvy is an excellent resource for me as it gives me all the information, all the tools I need in one central place. So if you guys are interested to learn more and potentially join Soul Savvy, be sure to check out that link down below and be sure to tell them I sent you. So back to the shoes, this is another colorway of the latest collaboration between Salehi Bembury and New Balance. And recently I reviewed the Granola or Multicolor colorway, which is also on my channel if you haven't seen that. So essentially this video is identical to that one, but the one key difference between that video and this one is I finally got my actual size. So I'll definitely get into the sizing of this shoe a bit later on in this video. So for this gray pair, the actual colorway name is Sharkskin and the style code is MS574YSC and they retailed for 150 US dollars or 200 here in Canada, and they dropped here in Canada on October 22nd. So the 574 Yurt is a redesigned brand new silhouette from Salehi Bembury that obviously is inspired by the outdoors and hiking shoes. However, just like his past collaborations, this pair is made in Vietnam, so it's not a made in US or made in UK pair. So diving straight into the details of this shoe, the base layer of the sneaker, just like the other colorway that I reviewed, this is covered in this wide mesh material. And overlaid on the sides, we have these hits of reflective 3M in this light gray finish. Overlaid on top, we have this long haired suede, also done in gray. And then covering the medial side of the toe box, we have this dimpled leather that has a bit of a rough texture to it. This suede material covers the mid panel of both sides of the shoe. And then stitched on top of this, we have the New Balance N logo, which is done in this reflective 3M silver finish. Next to this, we have this light tan colored suede, and you'll see there's a Salehi Bembury tag sticking out the lateral side. Moving downwards, we have more of that mesh material that we saw earlier on the toe box. This wraps around the upper portion of the ankle collar area, and then surrounding the bottom of the back heel, we have more of that long haired suede. Surrounding the bottom of the back heel, we have this gray colored TPU heel clip, which gives you added structure and support for the back end of the shoe. And right above this, on the center of the back heel, we have an actual functional whistle. For the laces, these only come with one pair of laces, so you're just your standard flat style white lace. However, underneath this, the tongue is constructed out of a combination of nylon and suede. So you'll see we have this grey coloured nylon running down the center, along with this New Balance Yurt 574 tag. And you'll see that the outer edges of the tongue are constructed out of suede, sort of in this unfinished style. Moving on to the insoles, these come with a foam padded insole, and you'll see that the surface of the insole has this bumpy texture to it. And stamped on the heel, we have New Balance and Salehi Bembury co-branding. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this very chunky midsole, and you'll see it incorporates New Balance's Absorb SBS technology, which is visible on the lateral side. On the back of the shoe, we have these two pill-shaped protrusions, which exposes the foam within the midsole. And underneath the back heel, we have New Balance Roll Bar technology, which gives the midsole a ton of sturdiness and stability, and helps with people that overpronate. Moving on to the bottom, here we have your outsole, which is constructed out of a black colored rubber. We have this trail-like traction pattern on the forefoot, and you'll see that the rubber on the back heel protrudes outwards, which looks like an extended flap or lip. And in the middle, we have this rectangular cutout, which reveals a wedge of TPU with New Balance branding on it, and this helps with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these New Balance 574 yurts. And finally, I know the question you guys are all dying for is how do these fit? So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I tried these in both a size 10 and a 9.5. And, and long story short, I ended up with a 9.5. I felt like it gave me a very nice snug one-to-one -one fit. However, if you're not the type that likes a snug fit, and you like a little bit more room in your shoes, especially from a length perspective, then you might want to consider sticking true to size. For me though, I felt like sticking true to size gave me a little bit too much room from a length perspective. There was about a thumb's width between the top of the shoe and the top of my toe. Whereas the 9.5, I felt more locked down and in place. 
To give you guys a point of reference, I also go a half size down or 9.5 in other New Balance silhouettes like the 990 V3, V4, and V5, the 998, the 992, and the 550. And in comparison, I stick true to size in New Balance silhouettes like the 2002R, the 997, the 1500, and the 1530. Moving on to comfort, so just like in my other review, this shoe is not that comfortable, but it's solid overall. It's not gonna be super soft and cushiony, and that's because of this roll bar technology on the back heel. So because of that, I felt like the back heel felt very stiff and very firm, but the pro is you feel very stable and locked in. And I felt like the forefoot area was a bit more soft, but it didn't feel overly cushioned or mushy. So I know visually this shoe looks very chunky and very soft, but it's definitely not like that at all. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship on this shoe, all in all, even though this is a made in Vietnam pair, it was very good quality. I personally thought the material quality was excellent, the suede especially felt very top notch, and the overall build and construction on this shoe was flawless. So really, no issues at all from that standpoint, and I felt like the quality was great for the price point. So with all that out of the way now, let's lace up these 574 yurts and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. I gotta say, of all the colorways set to release in this Universal Communication pack, this gray one is definitely my favorite, and getting it in hand definitely reaffirms my decision. You honestly can't go wrong with gray and New Balance, and I know this silhouette is very loud and it's very bold, and obviously it's not gonna be a silhouette for everyone. However, I think the colorway works well with the silhouette, and it tones down the design a little bit to make it a little bit more wearable. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this gray colored or shark skin colored 574 yurt. What are your overall thoughts on this colorway specifically? And are you a fan of the 574 yurt silhouette in general or was this an easy pass for you? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.